Hello, your chub. Okay, so as you can see, I have a new shield because the spider shield has better. Uh, well, here, let me show you. Um, I mean, at the shield is upgraded plus three, but hang on. If I go to change, it will show me the stats more. It's got a better lightning resistance, but only by two points. The fire resistance is uh, is way way down. It's heavier. Yeah, it's more durable by 20 points. Uh, it needs less strength to needed to use it. Um, Stability is down by 3 points. That's because I think it's due to the fact that I upgraded it by 3. So, I think when I get around to upgrading the shield, it's going to be pretty good. So, Sen's Fortress. Never actually showed off this place. Also, you'll notice the ginormous sword, the Black Knight sword. I got that off screen. Also got an extra spell, Force. So, as you can see right there, Admiral Akbar would be like, IT'S A TRAP! It's a trap that's gonna help us. They take a beating to those snake people. Okay, so let's get these opened. Because there's a nightmare. Soul of a brave warrior. Got to be fucking brave to be in this place, let me tell you that. Ridiculous. And run. And run. I would be doing jolly cooperation, and... Uh, me and Dragon Cannon have been doing this area, except, ah, oh, that that was bound to happen, wasn't it? Well, we were doing the area, and we got up to the boss because we we play it fair. I do it for him, and then we do it for me while I'm recording. Because you don't want to see the same thing twice, do you? Or do you? Because if you do, then then again, I don't think you do. So I'm just recording this. Um, and posting them. But, he went off after he died, and we didn't get a chance to reclaim his soul. So I don't know what's happened. I don't know if his internet's gone, or if... I, I just don't know. So I'm having to be um, careful in this area, because it's just filled with traps. Nice Titanite shards. Now we can leave him because he's asleep and you can make boulders fall down from there. I'll show that later. Well. Yeah. Kind of like then. Might as well kill him, eh? So up here there's an item. And it's always fun to kill those snake people. Especially when you've got a giant sword now. So we get the Ring of Steel protection which boosts defense, but as well, off screen, I got the uh, Havel's Ring which boosts my equipment load, which means I can still light roll. Because this, this sword weighs a ton. Okay, so first thing we do, we go down here and we get the item, the Shotel. Now as you can see there's a snake, but well, a couple of snake people and a person down there. Let's go talk to him. To start the quest line, sort of. Be sneaking, be sneaking. Backstab, or in this case, anal stab. Hmm. 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 Oh, forgive me. 
I was absorbed in thought. I am the Dietmeier of Katerina. Quite honestly, I've run flat up against a wall. Or a ball, to be precise. I'm afraid I'm a bit too tough to be up running those things. So here I sit, in quite a pickle, weighing my options, so to speak. <laughs> So that's Sig that's Sigma of uh, Katarina. He's pretty fucking cool. Anal bleeding! You should really go see a doctor about that. So we face the wall, even though in... Ah! Right, so that's all the side stuff out of the way. We now go through here. And again, Admiral Akbar, it's a trap. We get it, yeah? The thing to do here is cheat. Even though we jumped over it, we still activated it. Where's the logic? Sword penis. But yeah. Oh, come on! I suppose I needed to heal anyway. This is where we find the uh, Black Sorcerer's set, and the Sorcery Hush. Black Sorcerers are meant to be the uh, Sorcerers of Ninjaness. I use that term loosely. So we point the boulders down. And there's the snake's health bar that I was telling you about. It's just easy just to let them kill him. You get the souls for it still. And you open up a uh, shortcut thing. So it's a sort of a win-win. And that's the last one you need. Ah, Big Hat Logan. Hmm, you seem quite lucid. A rare thing in these times. I am Logan. I'm a bit cooped up, as you can see. I have a bright idea. Suppose you set me free. I'm old and empty-handed, but I could repay you with knowledge and sorcery. This place is melting my mind. The inactivity is repressive. Right, so we need to go find a key to free him. Not sure if we need a key for this. Oh, we have the master key for that. I wonder if the master key will work for him. It does indeed. That works. Oh, heavens. Thank you. I'm safe, and I'd love to resume my travels. But I must log a few things first, and I owe you for speak with me there. So yeah, he's gonna go wait at Firelink Shrine now. <clears throat> Which is good. It's good. Can't complain, can we? We're not gonna use sorceries, because we're a sort of paladin class. I discussed this with Dragon last night. I'm a cleric. But I'm a warrior cleric. And I'm not using heavy armor at the moment, because... I just don't have the ability to roll with it, so... 
think it's just been moved. Yep. It was a good call. It's a very weird system. I don't know how all this machine works, but... Okay, okay, Mr. Mysterious Sign. Now, this one's a bit tricky. You've got to run completely and not stop. And we go! Cheat! I ain't going down there. I think I'll stay up here and be safe. Knew he'd move. Quite amount, a large amount of souls, aren't we? Yeah, I forgot about that guy. This isn't going to go well. Damn it! There we go. That's what I wanted to do. So anyway, for these ones, there is a trick. It's an optical trick, right? You think that they're all together, but they're not. You turn your camera sideways and you can see that the first two are together. So I'll show you. Look, you can get past the first two. And then there's this safety gap here. Pretty clever if you ask me. Now comes the bit where we just have to constantly sprint and I can't explain why yet. Not until we get, well, that's sort of the reason. Not fair. 
Oh, I thought that'd hit him. There we go. That was more of an intense battle than it should have been. Now these, these require um, a key. A key to which we do not have yet. He's an easy kill. The next one, however, is because over there is a gargoyle. Well, not a gargoyle, a giant. Up there is a giant. You can kill both. Once you've killed both, it kind of stops both things as well. So, what you need to do is you need to get right under his legs. He throws a hissy fit and then gets tired. Then you just lay into him with everything you've got. He, he does fall into you casually, but it's fine. You get a tiny night chunk out of it in 3k souls. Thus, giving us the ability to go back and get the key we need. And as well as any item we missed. Gorgeous view. Yes. Yes it is. There appears to be a black knight down there. So there's nothing down there. I'm not going to go down there. Trust me, I've been. This, however... Both of these are doable jumps. I've got a video of me doing that jump. Uh, that'll be going up the same time as this one. But that... Oh, no, 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 no! Oh, so close. But yeah, can you see that item down there? That's where the key is. This guy likes to sell you stuff. Ah, <laughs> oh, what? What? Who, who are you? Ah, another undead, eh? I took on Sam's fortress alone. But I'm no different from those vile creatures. I was driven by conceit. Ah, you think you're different? That you can handle it? Yes, I, I remember that feeling. For I was the same. So, let me help you out. With your soul searching. So with him you can buy those items. That's a great PvP item is the green blossom. You can buy shards. Shards are ex well, shards are expensive here because we know we can buy them for 400. Well, 800. Weapons on the other hand, he's got a good set. Uh, Balder shield, what's that? Eh. It's got good stability but that's about it. Uh, feather arrows? Ah, Onion Bro's armor. And also Iron Tarkus's armor or Balder armor as well. Nothing at all. But time goes on. We must hurry to the key. And no, I'm not dropping down. It's a very long drop. I mean, look, it's not a long drop now, but I have gone down a ton of stairs. Right. That's my way of saying fuck you, Mr. Snake. Yippity doo. So now we're on our way back to the bonfire. Because we need to rest, and we need to engage in jolly cooperation with Dragon Cannon. We cannot leave him out. He must help us defeat the next boss. I feel bad for leaving him out of this episode, you know? He's been with us for uh, quite a bit. All the way from the Bell Gargoyles. Oh! 
You know what? I'll get the items on the way back. They both activate anyway, it doesn't matter. Ooh, pardon me. So this is an awesome shortcut. Drops you through all of it. Allowing me to get back. And forth. So that was Sense Fortress. That was pretty easy, don't you think? That trap reactivated. That's not very nice. I wonder if they're still stuck in the wall by the time I get there. Ah, you see? Got some good distance and no drop. Nope, don't leave. Goddamn. I want to see if we can level up. We can. We're going to le level up Faith because I got a new spell. Of, um... I got Great Lightning Spear. Still 10 uses. Stronger. But needs 30 Faith. But we're 3 levels off. But anyway, guys... Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for the next part. Goodbye.